Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK, www.xcase.co.uk. We're a provider of PC cases, rack mount cases, and we also custom build servers. So, I'm going to take a visit again at one of our very popular chassis. Um, cause we're getting quite a lot of questions on it. We're shipping it pretty much worldwide now. And so I thought I'd just do a video just to go over the features again and answer a few questions at the same time. Um, just so you know, this is our build room. We've got two warehouses in Milton Keynes in the UK, if you're outside of the UK. Milton Keynes is uh, popular for roundabouts and concrete cows. Anyway, back on the subject. So this is a, a 24 bay uh, rack mount chassis. We call it the 424 Pro. It's got a lot of good features. I'll go over them briefly again, but if you want to uh, look on YouTube, you'll find some earlier videos. So it's got these 24 hot swap per uh, trays, which take both three and a half inch and two and a half inch drives. Each of the caddies has got two lights on it. Uh, depending on what RAID card or HPA card you use, they have different functions. But as a rule, the blue one at the bottom will stay on constantly. And the amber one at the top depending how you set the jumpers, will flicker away either if your drives have got a problem or with drive activity if you're not using SGPIO. Front of the chassis we've got just your standard power, some lights for power on and LAN and uh, hard drive activity. That would just be for your operating system drives. Internally we've got these three 120mm hot swap fans, super red fans, not your standard desktop type fan, much wider, much greater airflow. The drives themselves can be uh, SATA or SAS or SSDs, as I said the caddies will take 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch drives. The back planes, there's two of them for the 24 drives. Each one's got three mini SAS connections and is powered by three Molexes. Now, depending whether you're using a HBA card or a card that supports SGPO, SGPIO, sorry or not depends on the jumper settings. If you're not using an SGPIO uh, card then simply remove the top jumper on each back plane and that will disable the SGPIO. All that will do then is change the drive activity so the blue one will stay on constantly at the bottom here and an amber one will flicker away for drive activity. In SGPIO mode, the blue one will flicker away and stay on with drive activity, and an amber one will show up for drive location and faults. Now, one of the beauties of this little setup is that you can make this quite a low no noise solution but there are some problems depending on what motherboard you use to do this especially with super micro ones where the fans are controlled not through the BIOS but through IPMI and sometimes the fans will go to such a low point they'll actually set off a warning so on the Daughter board where the fans go, which is powered by two Molexes here, you'll see some jumpers. 
Now, if you're using a super micro board and you have this problem, if you just remove the first and maybe the second jumper towards the back of the case, that will just put a minimum speed on the fans, which is still quiet, but it will stop, off, stop it giving a warning. Now, when people are building these, um, they often ask about the cables. Because the mini SAS ports here are on one side of the chassis, then the best cable, if you're using an 8087 cable, is the shortest one, which is a 0.5 meter. If you get a 0.6 or a 1 meter, then you're going to have lots of excess cable. Power supplies, it will fit a 2U redundant. This is an FSP unit, but it also takes zippy ones. And the case comes ready bracketed up for a 2U redundant, but you can remove this bracket. And you can use this one, which is for a standard ATX. Or this one, which is for a standard non-redundant to you. Now from the earlier models we've now included these brackets here which are basically for two and a half inch drives and they fit on the side of the case, oops, wrong way round. inside the case there with your drive attached and you can put two of those in so you can have a, uh, a mirror raid perhaps for your uh, operating system you have this plastic sheet at the bottom now this comes with these little push outs and the idea behind this is you pull it out you line your motherboard up you push out where the holes are going to be so you don't put the standoffs in the wrong place take the tape off the back and then stick it down onto the floor of the chassis and that will help um, prevent any electricity between the bottom of the motherboard and the uh, plate here the chassis has got seven expansion slots. You can fit two 60mm rear fans to it if you so wish. Also included is these numbered discs and uh, just basically 1 to 24. So if you're not using SGPIO or even if you are, you can number up your discs and these fit neatly onto the front of the caddies here. Included is screws for three and a half inch drives and two and a half inch drives, motherboard screws, standoffs, some screws for two and a half inch drives there, and the screws to fit these brackets. Um, we also, two seconds, now do a BBU bracket, which will fit a LSI BBU 08, 09, as they don't fit directly onto the RAID cards. So I think that's basically answered most of the questions we get. Uh, any more just obviously email us. Uh, if you're outside the UK we're quite happy to ship it worldwide and we're also um, building up everyday systems in these so if you want one custom built one to specification then just ask for a quote. Right then, that's it. Thanks very much for listening.